Right then, this is a quick walk around video, and this is for an absolutely stunning looking Lexus. This is an IS250 F Sport, as you can see here, finished in this absolutely stunning colour. Um, a few options on the car, or a couple of options, notably obviously the colour of the vehicle, these lovely Hoshi alloys, and it's got the multimedia pack with the sat nav and the other bits attached to it. Uh, the car is absolutely beautiful inside and out. Um, 58,000 miles, full Lexus service history all the way through. Front of the car, lights and lenses are completely clear and intact. Front of the car, very clean, with only the obviously minor stone chipping you're going to get on any 10 year old car, regardless of how well it's been kept. Near side of the vehicle, it's pretty much mirror smooth in the panel works, absolutely beautiful. Near side front alloy, sorry it's a bit glary with the sun today, but really nice. The only, there is a bit of curbing, being a near side front, it's always going to get something, but could easily be touched in if you so wished. Um, the luster of the paint works absolutely super on the car. Near side rear alloy, unblemished, looks absolutely beautiful. Coming around the back of the car, again, bumper corners all very, very clean indeed. And the off side of the vehicle, driver side of the car, again, just mirror smooth, absolutely beautiful. Off side rear alloy, in absolutely perfect condition. And then the main panel work just superb and final alloy perfect there and it really is in simply stunning condition this car i just pop the car in the shade now because it's uh so it's glary enough doing the outside and the sunshine but let alone the inside inside of the car boot area is lovely as you can see there it's got the boot liner fitted which means the carpeted area is underneath all in absolutely super condition it's coming to the back of the car now again all Absolutely beautiful, full set of original Lexus mats fitted, carpeted air is all absolutely lovely and get the half leather work in the F Sports which looks absolutely beautiful on the car. And passenger uh, door card there, obviously you've got your electric memory settings for the seat, heated seats of course, and fully electric on there and the seat itself looks pretty much as new in all honesty. Finally, just come to the driver's door card, which again is absolutely pristine. And footwear there is all lovely, so I apologise, it's my, I can cast my shadow on this, but trust me, the leather, the driver's seat again is in absolutely wonderful condition. Let's so inside the car now. Engine's running through the section as always, so the dash can be seen illuminated. Dashboard looks absolutely as new, and you can see there with the smooth style buttons on here. This is the later facelift model, uh, so it's got the new style sat nav and functions as well. Sat nav working perfectly, and if I pop the car reverse, you've got that lovely gridded colour camera on the back there, and to complement the front and rear parking sensors fitted to the car. Mark Levinson stereo, which as I say, talk about more in the following video, but just beautifully kept this vehicle. Come across here. Dashboard binnacle, you can see there, 58,060 miles. There are no warning lights on the dashboard at all. Steering wheel, which looks and feels absolutely as new in hand. Um, and on there, you've got the F for the F Sport there. And it is in beautiful condition, it really, really is. Electrical adjustment, sorry, I was gonna say, on the uh, steering wheel on this model as well. Just to quickly show you, owner's manual pack and importantly lock and wheel nut set both here and present with the car. So finally, just to come under the heart of the beast, absolutely beautifully presented engine bay as you'd expect from Lexus. I apologise again for the, the sun, but it really is in wonderful condition and it's just a marvel of engineering. Right then, this is a quick road test video. And this is for a Lexus IS250, and it's the 2.5 V6 F Sport model. Uh, this particular car is registered, bear with me one second, LM60AJX, 
and mileage at the start of the road test is 58,052 miles. The reason we do these videos, as I say in all of them, is very simple. We just want people who are looking at the car online in an advert to actually see the car in operation. We know to our costs, unfortunately, just how frustrating it can be to go and see a car, which whilst can look you know, great in the description and the photographs provided, only to get there to find out that it's actually got a fundamental issue, which you clearly should have been told about before setting off. So that's why we do it. It's also done on part of the road test route any prospective buyer would go on, on these lovely quiet country roads. Um, and the reason for that is hopefully then it's representative of what you'd feel yourself should you be offered a test drive in the car. The car itself has been very well looked after, it come to us from a main dealer. It's, I absolutely love these cars, uh, but I'll go through what I always do on the vehicles. It may well absolutely hammer down a second because of its thunderstorms coming over and it looks black as the Ace of Spades. Engine starts absolutely instantly, of course. Press the button, off she goes. Settles to a completely smooth, even idle. Um, there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or any other part of the car. Temperature gauge running at just over a third, which is exactly where it's meant to be on one of these Lexus vehicles. And it's up to full operating temperature. The engines are absolutely brilliant. They are everything you'd expect from a Lexus in the sense that they are incredibly tough and reliable over very, very big mileages with just basic maintenance. Um, but it's also just a wonderful piece of refined engineering. It's so smooth and quiet. Being a V6, it's got a lovely engine note to it, which never sounds strained. Um, it's perfectly suited to this car because the temptation for Lexus may well have been to put in a smaller engine you know, for tax reasons or that kind of thing. Um, but then you'd have to work the car harder. It's just ex perfect. You, you know, it, it isn't the most powerful, um, but it provides you with more than the performance you actually really need in the real world. It's a wonderful, wonderful unit. That I, I mean, they literally whisper quiet. I mean, it's, it's a wonderfully refined car over sort of long trips. You know, some cars which are growly and, you know, got a lovely engine note. Um, can be very wearing after um, only a short period of time but this one you know when it does rev it does it with a just a silky smoothness um, and you can see why I mean you know the, I was watching on sort of YouTube today sort of a, the latest reports on used cars between five and ten years old and that's the real world of used car buying of course not when they're brand new and what people think, how reliable they think they might be, because it's only a guess. And sure enough, um, Lexus and Honda were the top two manufacturers again, year after year after year after year they are um, at this age. And they are beautifully, beautifully engineered vehicles. Engine then feeds into the gearbox, really slick shifting, six speed from memory. Um, you have the option to change manually as well, which you can do via the gear lever here or on these paddles up here, all you do is just literally push the gear lever to the right, it's pre-selected me fourth gear, change up with that one for fifth, down with that one, down again. It's really nice, it's crisp, quick to respond, then paddles feel nice in the hand as well, and I said you can just use this one as well, which I actually quite like as well, to be honest with you, but um, to be honest with you, hardly want anyone ever really use them, although albeit they are quite handy for when you come to do an overtake because um, it controls the gear you're in, you stay in the gear for as long as you want rather than uh, what the gearbox wants. Um, all the gears are changing absolutely perfectly. Um, and, you know, it's again, like the engine, they've got a reputation for being reliable over hundreds of thousands of miles. Um, but notwithstanding that, you should still do the obvious checks, just make sure that the gear changes are slick, there's no thunks or delays in engagement into drive or neutral from reverse, and there's nothing at all. That, in essence, as cliched as it sounds, it drives exactly like a new car would. It's absolutely superb. Steering on the vehicle, which aided by the fact, of course, it's rear wheel drive, um, so there's no drive shafts kind of polluting the steering inputs or otherwise. Wonderful, wonderful setup. It's pretty much perfect again in that sense, because what it gives you is a lovely silky mechanical feel to the way the steering actuates. Um, it never feels nervous, makes the car feel really solid and secure on the road. 
but what it gives you is a very precise um, steering setup. Crikey me. Um, you know, not as dynamic as something like, let's say, a 3 Series, which is probably slightly quicker because they're going for a more sporty feel for the car, but not as slow-witted as some I could mention. You know, um, it's, again, a, a lovely setup for the people that just want to need the car to be comfortable over a long period of time without being nervous at all, but one that rewards when you do push on, and it's, it, it does all of that absolutely brilliantly. It tracks dead straight, and there's absolutely no vibrations that come back through the steering wheel at this speed or any speed up to the legal limit actually. Um, chassis the vehicle, what I'm looking for in road test is just any signs of kind of wear when it hits a bump, although it's very subdued, what you don't want to be hearing is any kind of secondary sort of chatterings or any knocking noises and there is nothing at all that's exactly as it should be. Um, it also gives you a really comfortable beautifully damped ride it's very, it just feels expensive the whole car does when you drive it um, but when you go through the corners it gives you really good body control really good change of direction you know it, it, it just flows through corners absolutely beautifully and as I said again you know you know if you want something that's absolutely right on the sporting edge then I still would maintain a BMW 3 series you know they're more sporty variants you know would offer that to you but that is probably five percent of people's driving the other 95 percent is when you want the car to actually be able to absorb bumps feel um comfortable over sort of less than perfect surfaces and that's where the bmws in every sense of the word kind of fall apart because they just they feel far far harsher um over this sort of road surface it's just without comparison um, but as i said you know different things to different people obviously Pull away from the car behind it because I want to give the brakes a bit of a shove. So, it's a really good brake pedal on the car. Just want to make sure that you know where they, they bite and they do, and all, all's good there, but they're absolutely fine. Um, they will be checked actually tomorrow as part of the um, pre delivery inspection, but also it will be going for an independent, a fully independent MOT. So, all these things are going to be checked as a matter of course anyway. Finally coming to the interior of the car, which the first impressions you get in, and again, this is a car that's now 10 years old and essentially feels like it's brand new. That's how tight and rattle-free and buzz-free. And as I said, you know, coming back to that um, reliability study, it's also build quality, because build quality isn't about doors that make a lovely thudding noise or heavy feeling bits inside the car or squidgy plastics. It's how well those bits are put together, and what you what you'll find out is over the sort of five to ten, fifteen years, you know how well these things are, are actually assembled. And the Lexus is a brilliantly put together car. It feels so expensive in here. It's quite intimate, which I love, but the dash is so simple to operate. The quality of the switch gear, the actuation's absolutely top drawer. Um, all working absolutely perfectly by the way with ice cold air conditioning which is dual zone so you can have different temperatures side to side on these um, and this is also the later style so it's got the new style sat nav and um, switch gear around here as well because this has the multimedia pack which is a major option on the car obviously as well as the alloys and the paint I think on this car um, that also incorporates the Mark Levinson stereo, which if you like your music is simply brilliant. It picks up every tiny little detail of the music and because the car's so quiet, it's not fighting background noise the whole time. Um, it's just superb, it really is. Um, dashboard I've always loved because it's so simple in terms of the, the, sorry, the, um, the dials directly in front. All the information you need, but the, the, the actual dials themselves and the way they're laid out um, they've got a very high quality look to them it's kind of watch style in the way it's done and I'll drive into the wife um, but it feels 
absolutely is new. The steering wheel feels like it's hardly ever been touched. It's lovely in size and diameter. Feels great in hand with the positioning of the bolsters here at 10 to 2. You can rest your hands at the, the quarter past 3 position really nicely as well. And everything working exactly as intended. Um, this really is a truly exceptional car. If you're looking for a kind of a, a, a car with performance, prestige, um, but inbuilt build quality and reliability there is simply not a better car in my personal opinion in the marketplace for the, at, at, at this sort of age and uh, then these cars they are simply superb and this one happens to be a wonderful example as always though if you've got any questions about the car don't hesitate do give us a call